Today, on Issue at Hand, I sum up 10 comics you should be reading. The comics industry is big and wild and weird, and it can be hard to know where to start, but that's what Issue at Hand is all about. So on today's episode, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of recommendations. What? I can only do 10. Uh. Okay, keep in mind these are in no particular order, and if I missed your favorite book, don't freak out. Just leave a comment below telling everybody about it. Now let's get started. Shade the Changing Girl. An alien bird woman puts on the technicolor madness coat of a famous historical poet and possesses the body of a comatose human teenager, who turns out to be the terrifying school bully that nobody missed. Which will drive her mad first, the coat of rack Shade or the trials of high school? Shade is part of DC's Young Animal imprint, a quartet of books put together by Gerard Way, the former lead singer of My Chemical Romance. It's only got one issue out so far, but it looks surreal, colorful, and fun. Harley Quinn. The queen pin of crime inherits some property, moves to Coney Island, starts running a sideshow, and uh, hijinks ensue. She kicks the Joker to the curb, hangs out with Poison Ivy, and annoys Power Girl. Don't call this book the Deadpool of DC. Harley's already made friends with a vigilante called Red Tool. Also, Deadpool is already a ripoff of another DC character, but that's another episode of Issue at Hand. If you or a friend or even a teen you know are looking for more of Harley after seeing Suicide Squad this summer, and you want to avoid stories that glorify her abuser over her, then this series is a great place to start. Saga. The grandest space opera in comics is four years old, but still going strong. It's got love, war, bounty hunters, sex planets, seal men, and lion cats. But really, it's about family. You'll cry, you'll be terrified that your favorite character is gonna die, but mostly you'll have to remember not to read it in public because, wow, it's not safe for work. And the best thing about starting Saga for the first time is that you don't have to spend a month wondering how the next issue will turn out. You just have to turn the page. Black Panther, a nation under our feet. How does an Afro-futurist monarchy survive in the modern political climate? And how does its king grapple with his tripartite identity as a man, a king, and a superhero? Writer and journalist ta Coates is crafting the Black Panther series that's burning up shelves. It's a great introduction to T'Challa and the country of Wakanda leading up to his movie in... Uh... Oh my god, I can't believe it's still more than a year away. Dead Man, Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love. Gothic romance and DC superheroes shouldn't mix, but Dead Man Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love teams up a main character who can see ghosts with DC's most famous undead hero, Dead Man, to solve a supernatural mystery in a big spooky mansion. I was expecting the combination of genres to be interesting, but I wasn't expecting it to have such a diverse cast, and I'm excited to see where the rest of the story goes. Odyssey. It's the Odyssey, but in space, and virtually all of the characters are reimagined as women. The art is psychedelic and the text is in verse. This is a book where, when the Cyclops asks Odysseus for her name, she says, all men. Honestly, I shouldn't even have to say more than that. Odyssey can be dense, both visually and textually, but you owe it to yourself to at least give this epic a try. Vision. The Avengers' most stalwart robot friend decided he wanted a normal, happy family of his own, so he made one. It has not turned out well. I mean, manslaughter, houses burning down, bodies buried in the backyard. Suburbia is not a good place for a robot family. And what happens when four synthesoids with godlike powers decide they've had enough is anybody's guess. If you like stories about the secret dark heart of the American dream, Vision is delivering one, with a side order of the secret dark heart of man. Gotham Academy. It's Harry Potter if you replace magic with the dark villainous secrets of Gotham City and Arkham Asylum. They solve mysteries. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Lunella is the smartest person in the Marvel Universe. Devil Dinosaur is a red Tyrannosaurus who's been displaced in time. They have adventures. American comics have fought hard to be taken seriously as an art form that adults can proudly appreciate, and that makes it even more important to emphasize all ages superhero titles when they come along. Gotham Academy and Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur are both great books for kids and adults, full of plenty of hints at the larger comic book universes those kids are already seeing on TV and in movies. 
the backstagers. For a certain kind of kid, getting involved in high school theater is like stepping into a new world, full of adventure, self-discovery, and fumbling teen romance. And at the St. Genesius School for Boys, the back of the theater is also literally a magical labyrinth. If you or somebody you know loves theater or likes Steven Universe, you might want to give the backstagers a try. And finally, World of Wakanda. Spinning out of Black Panther comes World of Wakanda, a series about Ayo and Aneka, former bodyguards, current revolutionaries, and lovers. Feminist scholar Roxane Gay and poet Yona Harvey are writing the book, which is great, because sadly they will be the first black women to ever write a Marvel comic. And done. Was that 10? It was 11, ha! That's all for this episode of Issue at Hand. If you have any recommendations for comics you think people should be reading, just drop them in the comments below. And be sure to stay tuned for our next installment, which I promise won't be a list. Writer and journalist Tana, I think it's Tana, I gotta look up the pronunciation of that. It's the Odyssey, but in space. Is carpeting a thing in Mr. Robot? And how does a king drap... drabble? Uh... <laughs>